This is my first dig out on the coast in 2019 and I've come here because I need to find a Roman silver for a project I've got in mind. And the chances of finding one here are average, if not slightly better than average. So join me after this and I'll tell you more about it. Well, that wind's getting up and it's a good start. First signal, a little knackered Roman bronze. I was walking for about another five minutes and I just couldn't hear the signal to all that wind. Anyway, I turned the remote box on so you can hear them and I can hear them better as well. Not found one of those for a very long time. And they're usually two ringers. That's got a really nice shape to it. That'll make a nice pendant even. Well look, that was only an inch deep and out of it came this great big Roman. I thought it was a modern penny at first. It's so big and almost perfectly round, which is unusual for a Roman. But it's definitely a Roman. Well chuffed. I can begin to smell those silvers. Well, I've not found the silver Roman yet, but I've just got that. That's a lovely decorated strap end. Well, I've not had a very successful day today because of the wind, but look at that. It's a lovely radiant. I'm really happy with that. Fantastic. Now, could this be a Roman finger ring? I'll have to do some research. Woohoo! Fantastic! Look at that! Another radiant! Bigger this time. And I might be in with a chance of a silver, you never know. This is getting a bit warmer now. I mean the field. Producing some stuff. I don't believe it! Another one! This one's not a radiant. I'll have to get these submitted to the Portable Antiquity Scheme and get a firm ID on them. Wow, a Roman day, that's five Romans. Five, that's the most I've ever found in one day. This is last week's winner of the coin ring giveaway. Well done to you. And thank you for your support on this channel. Much appreciated and if you wanna be considered for a coin ring giveaway, all you gotta do is to leave a comment in the comment section down below with the hashtag coin ring giveaway. Be lucky. Another one! Ha! That's six today. That one's in good condition except of course it's broken. Well I have no idea what that was but it's got a suspension loop on it. Weird shape. Looks like something was in that gap there which is no longer there obviously falling out but what on earth was that? Oh, look at that for a musket ball, it's huge! You can easily see the casting hemisphere on there and where it's nipped off on the casting screw. That's a big one. Look, here's a good one. Just draw back and it's at the front edge of the coil. Just as soon as it disappears, there. I'm going to put a card it did, oh, by the way, the cards don't always work on mobile devices, but if it does with you, I'm putting a card on the top right corner with four options in. And I want you to tell me if you think you know what it is. Here we go, it shouldn't be too deep, so I'll just put the tip of the spade in, flick the soil out. in the hole. It's out. Have you guessed yet? Now I don't want you to cheat. So we'll see how good you are at the tones. Look 
there, aren't we? Right, did you get it? It's a little lead musket ball or pistol ball because it's quite a small one. Did you get that? That was quite easy, I thought. Well done if you did. Oh, look at that. A lovely jet lift. Br brilliant condition. <laughs> that shows how windy it is. Come back. Probably the best condition jet lift I've ever found. How lovely is that? And it's in one piece. That is superb. Cracking. Well, it started to rain again. Quite heavy. But I did get a Roman. Just now, just there. It was a blasting signal, so it must have been flat on the surface. And there's only about an inch deep. But that'll do me. And another little Roman. This is amazing, because I've been on here for four years. And on this part of the field, I've never found Romans. I am well happy. Oh look, a Roman nail. I've not found many of those, but they've got a lovely patina on them. Well, look at that lovely little buckle. That's 13 to 1400, I reckon. Bang smack in the middle of the medieval period. Lovely. I like that. Wow. Wow, look at that. That is definitely old. What's really nice is it's almost still perfectly round. There is obviously a stone at the top. The shoulders are squared with decoration along that edge. What a beautiful find. What a weekend it's been for me. Fantastic. Soon after that last little bit of filming, the heavens opened and I had to run for the car. But I did find a Roman silver. It was a Nero. Let me show you this. It's a beautiful Emperor Nero. A lovely coin. I didn't get it on video. Why? I don't know. The camera turned itself off after one second. I got this. Don't blink, you'll miss it. <laughs> and that's as much as I got. However, this now allows me to complete a project I've got in mind. I'm making pendants with coins in. And I'm also making cremation ashes lockets. This one is made from the centre punch of a 1942 half crown. That's 50%. With a half penny, 1943 on the outside. And... An 1800 and something Victoria threepence on the back. I can put a lock of hair, a child's tooth, or as I said, maybe some cremation ashes on there in a sterling silver chain. But anyway, let's just check out some of the finds because they are quite good. Now I've made my own restoration wax for my finds. It's a really, really good product. It's only in a... Um, large coin capsule i've got loads of it but i just need that for that'll last me for months and it brings up the coins so really nicely i mean if you can see some of those artifacts on there are not cleaned at all and some of the other ones are and this little piece here for example which we were talking about in the video is just a fragment of roman trumpet brooch you can see that's where the spring was across there and that's where the bottom bit of the bow went at the bottom there. This is the ring. Absolutely stunning little ring. And again, you can see these things have got the preservation wax on and they look really good. These other things haven't been touched. So you can see the difference between the two. And I've only given them one light coat of this wax. Whilst the ingredients of my preservation wax I've made myself aren't really secret as such, I'm not going to give it away. Now, because so many people like the guess the signal bit I do in some of my videos, I'm actually going to put a link to a video just there. It's about digging with your ears that I made a couple of years ago, where you use your ears in the 90, 99 tones that are available on the dais, rather than looking at numbers. 
and you might learn something you might not but it gives you a chance to guess the signal again and see how right you were look if you like the video that's great please leave a thumbs up leave a comment don't forget the coin ring giveaway just hashtag coin ring giveaway with your comment and if i've been really good maybe you'll even subscribe catch you next time if you do and in your cake up